Hey everyone, it's Nate Johnson here from FlyPlugins.com and welcome to this documentation video on our new PDF Certificate of Completion function. A lot of you have asked for this and we're really excited that we've finally gotten this included. Basically, this is going to allow you to provide your course participants with a PDF Certificate of Completion for any WP Courseware course that they've finished. So once uh, you have the newest version of WP Courseware with the certificates included, you're going to see over here in your WP Courseware settings that you now have certificates. So we can go into settings, certificates, and we can configure our certificate for all of our WP Courseware courses. Once you're in here, you're going to see just a few simple settings. The first one that you're going to see is signature type, which is required. You can use just text for the signature field on the certificate, or you can upload an image file if you have an image, a digital image of your certificate. Keep in mind that you do need to keep that to 340 pixels wide and 80 pixels high for that to render correctly. So you can upload uh, a signature image file if you choose, or you can just use text and uh, put the appropriate name in there that you'd like to display on their certificate. We have uploaded an image file for our signatures, so we'll just uh, select image file for now. You can also choose to show your logo. So if you have a, uh, a company logo, a university logo, something that you want to include on the PDF certificate, again, you can show that here. Um, you can choose not to show it. And if you do, you can upload your image here or you can put in a URL from your uh, WordPress media library if you already have something uploaded. But do keep in mind, again, there are uh, dimensions, required dimensions for this to render correctly on the PDF certificate, and those would be 320 pixels wide and 240 pixels high, as you can see here, just as a reminder. So you may just want to create a new logo image to upload for your PDF certificates. And then finally, uh, we can choose whether or not we want to use the built-in background included in uh, the WP Courseware certificate function or if you have a custom background that you want to upload. And again, the required dimensions are here, 3508 in wide pixels uh, in width and 2480 high at uh, DPI of 72. So we're just going to use the built-in certificate background here. We'll save all of our settings. Pretty simple. And once those have saved, we can go up and just click Preview Certificate. And that's going to take just a moment to load. So we can check out the settings that we've selected. Here we go. This is our PDF that our students would see. You'll see that we have the uh, user's name here. Uh, obviously, we are logged in just as an administrator. Uh, so your student's name, your registrant's name would show up here. Uh, it will give the name of the course next, which they have completed, the date of completion, uh, as well as the logo and the, uh, the uh, signature file that we chose to upload. So now that we have a certificate configured for our courses, how do we activate that on a per course basis? Well, you're going to go to your list of training courses in your WP Courseware settings, and then you'll just simply click on Edit Course Settings and scroll down to the very bottom of your screen. And you're going to see Course Complete Certificates as a heading. You have the option to enable or disable the PDF certificate function when a user completes this particular course. So you can turn that on or off. We will turn it on and save details. And for a user who has completed this particular course, where do they find their PDF certificate? Well, let's flip over as a registered user and take a look at what your students will see once they complete a course. Now this is a very basic and simple test course outline that we've put together here in this uh, demo video. But as you can see, I'm logged in as a user who has completed all of the units within this course through module one and module two. So on the very last unit, I can see that if I click and go into that, I am greeted with the message that I have now completed the whole course, congratulations, and I see a button to download my certificate. So if I click that, it is going to pull up the certificate that we configured on the back end as the administrator. 
Simply download that as a PDF and we can open that up. And there we have the certificate that we configured on the front end. So at any time, your students can also go back into that last unit and click that download link to re-download their certificate. Uh, you can, as we said, you can configure that with several settings within the certificate settings in WP Courseware. And we hope you enjoy this new function. Let us know if you have any questions, and thank you for watching. Take care.